my gosh. Finally, Dragon Ball has returned. You know, it's not in the form of an anime, but it's in the form of a movie, and I'll definitely take that. So, if you guys did not hear the news, um, at this point, because I'm about to give even the official words from Toriyama, um, essentially, yes, it's confirmed if Toriyama is saying it, it's confirmed we are getting a Dragon Ball Super movie next year in 2022. Don't know when it's going to come out. Um, so whenever they have a release date, I'll probably announce it. I guess the official, official announcement is going to come later um, tonight slash tomorrow, since tomorrow is essentially is not only Mother's Day, but it's also Goku Day. Um, but man this is really freaking good like this is an announcement that a lot of fans in the dragon ball community has been waiting when are we getting the next dragon ball super content like is it going to be the anime returning or are we getting another movie um and stuff like that um so first things first let me read you the official statement from toriyama um obviously the guy who created Dragon Ball and he put this information out. He said um, an all new movie since Dragon Ball Super Broly is currently in the making. Just like the previous movie, I'm heavily leading the story and dialogue production for another amazing film. I shouldn't really talk about the plot yet, but be prepared for some extreme and entertaining bouts, which may feature an unexpected character. Um, we'll be charting through some unexplored territory in terms of the visual aesthetics to give the audience an amazing ride. So I hope everyone will look forward to this new movie. Um, so that was the official um, words of Toriyama. Um, you can probably find that post he did on Twitter from other people that are retweeting. Or you can go watch Geekdom 101's video because I think he recently made a video about that. But um, one... An unexpected character. I don't know who this unexpected character is going to be. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing like they did with Broly, where they bring an old character we've seen back in the past from a past Dragon Ball Z movie and, I guess, put them in the super version of the storyline. Essentially, I guess you can say, you know, making it in somewhat of the super canon times of story. I guess, if you want to be honest, the, the canon of Dragon Ball um, I've seen some people throw around, you know, cooler. Uh, a few people have general, thrown around Janimba. I wouldn't be fine. I would be fine with both those choices. Um, again, don't know if this is going to be a brand new person or hell. We don't even know if this is going to be, um, if they're going to adapt the Mora arc into a movie. Now, personally, if you ask me, I don't want them to adapt the moral arc into a movie. I want the moral arc to be adapted for whenever the anime decides to return, because I'm sorry. The moral arc is a pretty long arc, and I feel like unless you make that movie like around two and a half hours long, maybe even three hours long, which in anime standards, that's very rare. You get a three hour long anime movie. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to fit all that stuff in that movie in about an hour, you know, movie for um, Dragon Ball. Um, I feel like they should save the moral arc, you know, for the movie. And I feel like they could do, they take this movie in its own direction or something like that, whether it's loosely canon or, you know, it's just, you stick it somewhere in the timeline whenever some shit just happened. Um, you know, that could be a thing. Um, if they want to freaking stick it in between, I guess, the current arc, the Granola arc, because we know in the Granola arc, if they want to make this movie canon to the timeline, um, to the super timeline, they can put it maybe in between the Granola arc as a way for Goku and Vegeta to get stronger before they had fought in Granola. Um, it would have been a way to do that. It could be a good way, because we know in that arc, there's been months that passed. Or maybe you can do something leading up after like a few months after the Moro arc. I, I don't know. Um, again, we don't know much about this. We just know that there's a new movie in a development. And the reason why we already knew this essentially from yesterday is apparently on the Toei um, EU page, 
there was a leaked article saying that Dragon Ball Super is coming out with a new movie. Um, and obviously that got out big across, you know, the entire fandom and the entire, you know, community for the Dragon Ball community. And yeah, um, so Dragon Ball will be back in 2022 in the form of a movie. But what well, I don't care. It's still good for me. I read the manga and I review the manga. So essentially I get Dragon Ball Super every month to me. But for people who are essentially anime onlys, really, um, and they don't read the manga, they just wait for whenever the anime or they get our a movie property property for the show comes out. Um hold on a quick second, guys. My dog's barking in the background. Okay, back from that. Sorry. Um, but um yeah, it, it, it's just very, fr it, I, I don't really care. Like, you know, we, Dragon Ball fans have been waiting. They have been waiting. I know, and I, I've said this in the last few manga chapter reviews, uh, my thoughts on Super. Yes, Super to me, uh, it's getting to the point where I'm like, okay, this is starting, the writing is starting not to be as good. But at heart, Dragon Ball is um, one of my favorite animes. Um, it was the first anime I ever watched. Um, again, thank you to Dragon Ball Z Kai airing on Nicktoons all those many, many years ago. It was my first anime and it introduced me to all the different types of animes I watched up to this point. Um, and um, I'm just glad that we're finally getting another Dragon Ball Thing in terms of the anime and you know I'm just glad for the Dragon Ball community just as a whole I'm just gr glad because I'm just happy because no lie it took a while for Dragon Ball fans to wait for the next thing we would get Dragon Ball wise unless you're reading the manga but you know listen I've said it before and I'll say it again again good things happen to people that wait and you know it's like i watched geekdom's videos over time over time over time he just said look just wait whenever something in terms of you know the anime or a movie comes out he'll speak about it and he's doing it now um and i think that's the one thing as us dragon ball fans we need to understand look we're gonna probably go back into the same thing after the movie next year is done we're gonna have to wait um a while um till maybe the anime comes out i feel like the anime is not gonna come back till after the granola arc is done because unless they want to unless they want the anime to do a seasonal thing um it's not really going to be ideal to bring back the series in an anime form so if we get movies for the next couple of years i'm fine with that like okay cool and two movie theaters are coming back up you can clearly probably see that obviously the virus had something to play in with dragon ball's development and coming back um and stuff like that so yeah um i'm just glad i'm just glad and i'm guessing the other uh, the other thing to the haters of dragon ball i'm not trying to rub it in or anything but you know for the people saying oh dragon ball is not gonna come back you know it's dead now it's not gonna be anime there's gonna be no more movies no more anime i think those people now can uh hold that big fat l so uh when it's announced uh, people, you can go to those Dragon Ball haters saying that they were saying that, you know, they it wouldn't come back again. You can go up to their pages now and say, like, guess what? Hold this L because it did come back. Um, you guys were absolutely wrong. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm just looking at the lineups for anime movies. You know, you got Demon Slayer. I feel like there's a few other movies coming out. I think there's a Jujutsu Kaisen movie coming out, a Black Clover movie. Now, I don't watch three of those. I know a freaking My Hero Academia movie's coming out. And now this, next year? Holy hell. Now again, that's probably gonna be for Japan purposes. We don't know what's gonna officially come out in the States. Um, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what happens. Definitely with theaters reopening back up because the pandemic's starting to light them up and the virus isn't being as, I guess, people are not catching it as easy as they used to when it first broke out um you know things are starting to get to the point where it's much more safer and things are getting back to normal and i definitely can't wait to be in theaters next year to watch this movie if it does come out in the states next year um it'll be interesting because we remember from um dragon ball super broly dragon ball super broly 
I believe in Japan came out in December and the next month the states got it or everywhere else got it I, I believe in January so it's gonna be interesting to see what's going on again um, anything else like that happens there I'll probably make a video on it but it's really freaking good to see that now Dragon Ball is coming back in the form of a movie and I definitely can't wait to see who the antagonist is going to be um and yeah anyways that's all I gotta say here so if you guys like the video leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on the return of Dragon Ball in the form of a movie as well as hit that subscribe button if you want to get more Dragon Ball content and reference to more movie updates or even if you check with the manga and you want to get my thoughts on the manga hit that subscribe button and you'll get each and every manga chapter review every month it releases anyways I'm gonna get out of here hope you guys have a great rest of your day until then guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace